great harm. I've done some things that have caused me myself to be in a mode of discouragement and I'm not where I once was with the Lord. And I need some help. There's nothing wrong with saying you need some help. There's nothing wrong with admitting when you have become wrong. Because when you admit it, when you confess your sins, 1 John 1, 9, God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. If you're not God's child, you need to obey the gospel. The gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You have to hear that. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17, you've heard that. How Jesus died, how he was buried, and how he rose again. And the next question is, do you believe that? You've got to believe it because Jesus said, except you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. John 8, 24. If you believe that, then you must repent of your sins. Luke 13, 3, Jesus said, I tell you, nay, except you repent. You shall all likewise perish. What is Jesus saying? Unless you change, you're not going to go to heaven with him. You have to change. You have to give up some stuff. You got to give up some things. Sometimes you got to give up some people. You got to give up some habits. You got to give up some shows that you watch. Because they ain't playing all them subliminal messages in your head. You got to change the kind of music you listen to on the radio. Because they ain't show up to that stuff in your head. You be wanting to do stuff that they talk about on the TV and on the radio and that. See, all, and all that messes you up. <laughs> so in order to repent, you have to change your environment. You have to change your manner of life. And it's not in vain. Because I'm doing, I'm making this change now so I can go to heaven later. You don't need no radio and no TV in heaven. Hello in heaven. So don't lose your soul for one down here on earth. You got to change. Then you can hear from right there. You can believe from right there. You can repent mentally from right where you are. But these next two things that God requires you to be saved, you must come forth and do. Because you have to walk down this aisle and make a confession before these witnesses that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus said in Matthew 10, 32 and 33, if you confess me before me, you also will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. You can believe from right there, you can hear from right there, you can repent from right there, but when it's time to confess, you got to get up and come on down this aisle. Or come on down that aisle. Or come down the wall aisle. We got, we got four aisles for you to come down. Choose one. And come on down the aisle. Make your confession. And then we're going to take and baptize you. Why y'all baptized, preacher? Because Jesus said baptize. In Mark 16, 16, Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. That's what Jesus said. Jesus is the Savior. The Savior knows what it takes to save for. So if the Savior said, believe and be baptized, then believing and being baptized is the thing you need to be doing. So he can save your soul. You're added to the church, Acts 2, 47. And if you live faithfully unto death, in the end, you will hear God say, well done. Somebody needs to come. And we pray that you will right now as we together stand and as we say. Come from the love of